Here's your day for Disneyland Paris Hall. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lizzie. I'm a Disney plush collector who's just been to Disneyland Paris and I am going to show you what I bought. So happy Friday. I hope you've all had a great week. This is not actually the last video in my Disneyland Paris series because I have decided to do another video that is going to stay secret until next week. So if you're not already subscribed, make sure you subscribe and ring the notification bell so that you don't miss that video because I think it's going to be a really good one. So I'm going to show you what I got on our January 2023 Disneyland Paris trip. I didn't take as much money as I did in October and if you didn't see those vlogs I will leave a card up above because I didn't expect the merchandise to be very changed and I was quite right in that. So there were things I went there wanting and I didn't get all of it but I think all in all I spent about £300 and £100 of that was my parents paying for me to get new clothes because if you saw the vlogs I have had an allergic reaction to something we wash our clothes in so the best thing to do was just to buy new clothes and my parents very kindly sent me the money for that. So I only bought one plush which is shocking, but that just shows how unchanged the merchandise was. Something that was interesting to me was that Munchlings are now available in Disneyland Paris. They were launched in the UK and America in September, but they didn't hit Disneyland Paris until either late October or early November because they definitely weren't there when I was there in early October. So there were some I liked, there are some that I still haven't gotten to this day that I want, but I firmly believe it is a waste of your money to buy something abroad and bring it back in your luggage, stopping you from bringing something else back if they sell it in your home country. It is probably cheaper to buy it in your home country because of conversion rates and things, for example, when I bought the Grogu Cuddlies, it was 50 euros, but if it came to Shop Disney UK, it would be 30 pounds, when euros and pounds are pretty much close to 1-1 at the moment with everything that's going on. So I would always recommend buying it from your home country and not wasting your luggage space. But with that being said, I really wanted the Winnie the Pooh large munchling, but I didn't get it, even though I did have space for it. It's just, that is a hill I will die on. It's a waste of money and space if you can get it in your own country. So I'm going to start with the pins first because I bought quite a lot of pins. Well, not quite a lot, but in the grand scheme of things, pins were the things I bought most of. In the day one vlog, I got a pin trade in the pin store in Frontierland and I completely forgot to show you what pin I got. I realised that when I was editing it. So the pin I got was an It's a Small World pin and I think it's a Venice Gondolier, but I could be wrong, but it's really adorable. It's a 2001 pin and it does say It's a Small World Italy on the back and I traded a Disney Cruise Line pin for that. I also got some 30th anniversary badges. I was hoping they would still have the Christmas ones because it was the last day of the Christmas season, but they didn't, so I just got another two of these. And if you've seen my Disneyland Paris hauls before, you will know that I really like the gold coins you can collect. They are three euros in the machines in the village and in the parks, and I got the 2023 one to go with the 2022 one that I already have. I think I might have the 2021 as well, but I don't know where I've put them all, so it will be a surprise when I finally find them all. I did a couple of pickups for close friends, so these are the four that were pickups, so a 2023 Sorcerer Mickey pin, the Chippendale 2023 Castle pin, and this Mickey Mouse 2023 pin. This one was a green, this one was a yellow and this one was an orange. I know that yellow was 11, so I think this one was nine and this one was eight, but I could be wrong. If you can find Disneyland Paris's January pin drops poster, then they do have prices on. And then for me, I got myself the Chippendale castle pin because I thought it was really cute. And then I got the 2023 castle pin that kind of looks like it's on a TV. I love the retro vibes. It was a yellow, so it's 11. And then I got a pin to go with the pin that my friend got me in late October last year. So this is Goofy as Captain Hook falling into the mouth of the crocodile. 
and it is a yellow, so 11 euros. It goes with a pin that my friend Scott got me. It's Chip and Dale as Captain Hook and Mr. Smee and Clarice as Tiger Lily. It is pink. I didn't buy a pink while we were away, so I can't remember what pink is, but it's obviously going to be more than 11. And then I got two more stitch pins, and again, my friend got me another stitch pin when he was away. So the one he got me was Stitch as Aurora, which I absolutely adore. I just think it's perfect, which was an orange, so I think it was nine. And then I got Stitch as Captain Jack Sparrow, which is again an orange. And finally, Stitch biting the sword in the stone, which is again an orange. I've just been keeping them all safe in my little Betri bag from The Fun Impossible, as it just pops closed and it keeps them all together. I know this isn't a pin, but pin and pen. I got this big Disneyland Paris pen that has the castle and it says Disneyland Paris and it's one of those where you bring the colours down. So it's blue, green, pink and purple and I also got one for my mum. And then onto the only plush that I bought, this was €25. Euros. There was a Donald's that I quite liked and a Mini. I didn't get the Mini because she wasn't red so she wouldn't live in my car, but it was the stitch I was looking for and I couldn't find it so I didn't obviously get it. So I got the Sorcerer Mickey baby plush, he was 25 euros. It says Mickey on his like bath towel thing that's hooded and he's got the stars and the moon on his hood and then there's just a velcro popper to show his little boxes and he's just adorable. I bought him on the first night to have a plush to sleep with I was absolutely certain that I wouldn't struggle to find a plush. I took Duffy on my last trip just in case and I ended up buying a plush anyway. But when I didn't take Duffy, I couldn't find a plush. But I did really want this one. I'd shown Joe ED92's post when they first came out and between that and when we went, Stitch was nowhere to be found. We even checked every single hotel shop as well. On to the homeware section. So I found the place that sells the mug cakes. These are in the village at the little bakery place next to the sports bar that sells sandwiches and things. So it was 13 euros. They ask if you want squirt cream on top of the cake. And I'm so glad they did because I didn't eat the cake. The cake was gross. So at least I got some squirt cream and some sprinkles for my troubles. So Joe washed this for me and we wrapped it in the bubble wrap I'd taken. I don't like to bring mugs back when we're on a plane, but I thought it's my mug. It's not a gift for anybody. It might be okay. There was just enough room in my lounge fly backpack to put it in and put some plush in. But unfortunately, there was a Starbucks mug I wanted to get that I just didn't think would get home safely so I didn't get that but this is the mug cake mug it just has the 30th logo and the castle and Disneyland Paris there's nothing on the other side it has the 30th logo on the bottom and I just think this is a nice everyday mug if you don't want to use your Starbucks mug for example my mom displays her Starbucks mugs I haven't even used my Starbucks mug yet because I'm scared of it breaking so I will probably drink out of this one so even though the mug cake was gross it was chocolate and it just tasted really stodgy and crumbly it didn't really have the consistency I expected but it was worth it for the mug. And then the other thing I bought to cheer myself up, someone did ask me why I needed cheering up, but quite frankly, if I felt comfortable sharing that information, I would have. It comes in this cute little box that has the 30th anniversary logo, and it's wrapped up very well. I haven't actually checked that it made it back safe, but I'm sure it did. I got an engraved 30th anniversary cast member logo. So they ask you to write your name down, which is obviously something that worried me because people don't spell my name properly. It's not Liz. I absolutely hate being called Liz. This is how I spell my name. So I wrote it down for them and then they looked at it and they went, Lise. I was like, no, but yeah, if that's how you're going to spell it right. And I'm really glad I got it. It is 49 euros if you don't have it engraved. I don't know why you would do that unless you know a skilled engraver and for some reason you don't know the name you're putting on it yet. Perhaps you know somebody and when you've named your child you're going to engrave your child's name on it or something. But it was 55 euros with the engraving. They said come back in two hours probably because they were busy, because I've heard it only takes one normally. So we went and did some things, had lunch, went and picked it up, and then we 
took it back to the hotel because I didn't want to take it on rides all day. So I'm really glad I got this. It was the best pick me up and it was one of the things that I went there wanting. So I got the Mickey but didn't get the stitch that I went there wanting and I also went there wanting the Snuddy which they didn't have anywhere and the Monopoly which I think because it was an annual pass holder exclusive I wouldn't have been able to get it anyway but as it transpired they didn't have it they've completely sold through. And then on to food these are for work it's a general consensus in our office that you're not allowed back if you don't bring biscuits or chocolate or something from a trip so I got these biscuits in this tin it's getting harder and harder to find a tin I don't have and I don't want to keep rebuying the same tins. So I got this tin of biscuits for everybody and then I got this cute little stitch tin that has bonbons in which I think I will also take to work. But obviously when it's eaten through the tins will be mine. So I tend to keep them on my desk because I took something in in a celebrations tub the once and someone threw away the celebrations tub. So these are staying on my desk so I can watch them like a hawk. And then finally onto clothing, I got very very cold and when I saw that these were only 17 euros I bought them. So I got these little chip and dial mittens. They are quite hard to get on over my watch because it's very very thick at the wrist. So my fingers were often nearer their nose than at the end but I absolutely love them. Joe wore them at one point as well when he was cold and I'm just so glad I got them. And then I haven't worn this yet because it was just too cold. I wanted this last time and I'd run out of money and as it transpired this was my last bit of money as well I got the Disneyland Paris retro shirt from the fashion shop in the village I love these vintage shirts I wish I'd got one from Walt Disney World I got a Disney Cruise Line one that I wear quite frequently I don't usually wear the colour yellow but I just like the vintage vibes it gives off so I'm very happy with that and it was 26 euros. And then like I said my parents sent me money because my pyjamas were giving me that rash. So these were 40 euros unfortunately but I just didn't want to go all the way to Primark because that would take out a huge chunk of our trip. But I got these thumper pyjamas that are really cute and the bottoms actually have pockets which I thought was really nice and they were 40 euros. So quite expensive pretty much double the price they would be in Primark. I don't know exactly what they're priced at in the French Primarks, but over here they're like 12 to 15 pound. So over double, but I needed them and I'm very grateful to my parents for paying because I pretty much only took 200 euros and they paid for those and this. So I got very cold because the one day I did plan to wear a long sleeve shirt with my cake worthy shirt over the top but because I knew when the rash flared up from the pyjamas that the shirt had been washed with the pyjamas I just didn't bother wearing it, I changed what I was wearing and I was very cold as a result so I mentioned to my mum that I might buy a hoodie and she said tell me how much it is, I'll pay for it so I bought the hoodie that I had my heart set on anyway which is the 2023 Disneyland Paris hoodie so as you can see Mickey and Minnie are embroidered on and then everything else is screen printed on and then on the left hand side there's another Mickey and Minnie embroidered with an embroidered 2023 and Disneyland Paris. I got an extra large because I wanted it to go over the top of spirit jerseys and things and it's so comfortable. The pockets are huge and I just love it and it was 65 euros. So that is everything that I got from Disneyland Paris apart from food. I bought some sweets that I ate so my parents' presents were gummy sweets for my dad and pens for my mom. Like I said, I wanted to get her a Starbucks mug, but I was just not confident that it wouldn't get broken, seeing as how we flew. So suitcases get put in the overhead compartment, backpacks get put under your seat, but if for any reason the flight attendant wanted to move your things, they wouldn't care that there's something breakable in there. So I just didn't feel comfortable bringing back a mug and my mom completely understood that but that was my Disneyland Paris haul I really hope you enjoyed it please give it a big thumbs up if you did comment down below what your favorite thing was and I will see you on Tuesday for another video have a great weekend bye friends